Welcome back everybody. It's day 30. We've made it to day 30 and I'm very excited about it. We have one more full day of the challenge and then we'll be finished. We'll get a chance to see the results and see exactly just how I did as far as my weight loss journey for the past 30 days using liver focus as well as including me getting in 10,000 steps per day. And even though I would have a rest day throughout the week, on those rest days, I would still move some. So I might not have accomplished 10,000 steps that day, but I moved enough to where I just wasn't stagnant. I always listened to my body throughout the entire process. If I was tired or too tired, I would rest. So throughout this entire process, it has definitely been challenging mentally and physically on my body. I pushed myself more than what I usually do. And I'm glad that I did. One of the things that I said in the beginning of the challenge was that consistency is key. And that is what I have continued to tell myself throughout this entire past month that we have been on this journey and i say we because you've been taking it with me um as well and for those of you that joined in as well as those of you that have messaged me and um asked about you know tips and things like that since you've now started your journey so after this 30 days i want you to know that you know I'm going to be giving a final Q&A. So I'll come back after the 31 days and I'll give Q&A answers. I'll give a recap of every single thing that I did this past month, taking liver focus, pros, cons, tips that you can utilize for your journey as well. So with that being said, earlier today for lunch, I had fruit. I had nothing but fruit. I had strawberries, I had pineapples, and I had watermelon. The reason why I did that was because I thought I was going to come home tonight and cook some dinner dinner, but the weather had a different plan for that. So because it was raining so bad, I just fixed myself a salad. I had a garden salad that had some egg. It had uh, cheese, pepper jack cheese, cover jack cheese, and a little bit of turkey bacon and just a sprinkle of raspberry vinaigrette dressing so that's what i had for lunch and dinner today i didn't have anything for a snack because i just just didn't have one i did have a protein shake though uh i don't consider those a snack because i've been put when i've been drinking the protein shakes i've been actually using that as far as like something that i drink throughout the day but i guess you can say it's a snack I don't know, but I usually just put it as in my water intake. Uh, continue to, of course, drink my gallon of water. I actually drink more than a gallon of water. I've been trying to track it the last two days, and I'm coming in at right at a gallon and a half of water per day. And I've been intentionally doing that so that I could just kind of see and get a... I should have been doing it all along, but something just told me, just track to see because people have started to ask, do you, how do you get to drinking a gallon of water a day? Um, and I will tell them it, it's easy for me. It's really easy for me to drink a gallon of water a day. Um, especially when I'm drinking the uh, infused water, lemon, ginger, and cucumbers. I drink that every single day, just about all throughout the day. I mean, I have a pitcher, fresh pitcher in my uh, freezer, in my refrigerator here that I've already made that I just drink it every day. I guess to me, in my mind, in my body, it thinks that I'm eating food because that's what it tastes like food. So, but I don't know. You have to get used to it, but that's how I consume my daily water. I also drink just regular water. Um, I do put fiber supplements in my water twice a day, once or twice a day, I should say that. But I'm drinking water constantly, so tips to help you get started would be to infuse your water. 
use fruits, use vegetables uh, to infuse it. And that will get you to wanting to drink more water because it has a better taste to it. So, but that's how I get my water intake. And that's how I've been getting in a gallon or more a day, which is what is has been very key for this process right here. Also, uh, today, I because it was raining, I mean, like it was raining so bad to the point to where it took me almost an hour and a half to get home because it's literally just raining that much. So what I did today was in honor of the passing of Olivia Newton-John, I put in grease and I just went to work for about, I have to check my Fitbit. What does my Fitbit say? Uh, I had a total of 97 minutes of me just working out because grease is like my all time favorite movie. Uh, as a kid, I would like literally be glued to that TV and I learned every single dance step. So if you've ever seen the movie Grease, then you know that there's a dance sequence just about every other minute or a song or something that's going on in there that can keep you moving. And I literally just did the dance moves to every single dance sequence that was going on throughout that movie. So that's how I got my work in today. Give it a little spice. I got in about, uh, how many steps am I at right now? I'm actually at 12,000 and, uh, yeah, 12,120 steps right now. So just, that's for the day. So just doing that 97 minutes of working out and that dance, I got good cardio in and a good, my heart rate got up to, let's see, how high did it get? My heart rate got up to over 132. So that's a good workout. I did sweat some. So overall for me, I would say it was a good workout for day 30. Definitely a good workout for day 30 leading into day 31. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. I am ready to go and get my shower and get in the bed and call it a night. I have been literally getting in the bed by 1030 every single night this week. And I want to keep that up. So <laughs> I'm going to take me a shower, wind down, do a little bit of meditation, and then call it a night. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow for the final day, day 31. Thanks, thanks, thanks so much for following my journey with me and taking the journey with me as well for those of you that have joined in. Not to mention liking and subscribing to my channel throughout this process. I'm learning as I go. You know, I'm not a YouTuber or anything like that. Don't claim to be. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just sharing my journey with you guys. So that in hopes that it could help somebody else who's been on their journey or wanting to go on a healthier lifestyle journey as well. So we'll be back. See you guys tomorrow. And I'm back. <laughs> Once again, I forgot. I have to take these. Now, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>